I'm actually a fully carnival. Oh, you really? Yeah. God forgive him. Actually, don't forgive him. <laughs> this is unjustified. Humans right now are protected by law, but animals are not. You agree? <laughs> what about cows? Do the cows deserve human rights? Of course. Then we can't eat them then. If they have rights, you can't eat them. So we shouldn't be eating them. You, 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 can, you can stop eating them. Of course, I, I can. You should. And all other products coming from animals. You agree? Come on. Come debate me. Are animals humans? If humans are an animal, yeah. Because animals aren't human, they don't deserve human rights. Look, animals deserve to be treated with love, care, respect. Okay. But I, I also believe that humans are food. Oh, sorry, not humans. Animals are food, sorry. I believe that. But I don't... I, I do not believe... Says who? Are you Muslim? Yeah. Is that why you believe it? <laughs> not necessarily. Okay. Even before I was Muslim, I was eating meat. So you've, you're a reaver? Well, yeah. Essentially, I'm a reaver, yeah. Okay. Are we going to have a religious discussion or a secular discussion? We don't even have to... Because make you, can be a, you can be a vegan Muslim as well, yeah, because I have debates with Muslims. I just want to know what kind of discussion it's going to be. We don't have to talk about religion. Okay, we don't have to, yeah. No. Yeah, because otherwise I'll do it through the lens of Islam. No, and, no, no. We yeah, don't need we, to okay. So I believe uh, that because animals, you said, what did you, what did you say just then about that they are, uh, animals are food, you believe they're food? Yeah. And why do you believe that? Because I really enjoy eating it. Yeah, but I, I mean, I could really enjoy eating you. It doesn't mean your food. I mean, technically you've made a meat. It's different though. I'll tell you why it's different. Okay. It's different in the sense that I completely get where the, the vegan argument comes from in the fact, in the terms of like, first of all, let's put the animals aside for the planet, the sustainability, the environment, the contribution to, to... That's not why I'm vegan. Hold on. That's, that's, the that's one part which I understand okay. and I get. And that's why I make an effort to make sure when I'm sourcing my meat, I source as responsibly as possible. I don't just How eat. do you do that? So I buy from farms directly, grass-fed, things, animals that have been reared well, lived a good life. So you don't eat food when you're out? Not really. Unless, unless they have sort unless I know I'm going to a restaurant where they yeah, source you know? good meat. Because they disclose that. How do they disclose it? By advertising. By that. telling you? Yeah, by telling you. And you believe what they say? Yeah. Okay. So if I also, told you... Also, like, for example, right? I'm a chef myself. Yeah. So when I go out to eat in certain restaurants, like, I'm not talking about KFC or Burger King or McDonald's here. I'm talking about, like, restaurants where I know, I know what they're doing. No, you don't. I know where they're sourcing their stuff from. No, you from. don't. I do. Cause you, they... Oh, well, you can know on paper, but you don't know what oh, happens well. in the farm or the abattoir. Because how, how can you? Because if I'm using the same supplier as them, it doesn't, uh, yeah, but you say that you know, like, what I'm trying to say yeah. is that you only know what happens in the farm and in the slaughterhouse when you leave secret cameras when no one's watching, mm -hmm. which is what we do as yeah. investigators. Yeah. And, and have you seen the footage? Yeah, I've seen stuff. I've, I've, I've mostly seen stuff okay. in America. No, 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 UK. I've not really seen much stuff in yeah, the no, UK. No, no, uh, most animals here are factory farmed as well. There's over 800 mega US style factory farms in the UK, yeah. So all the chickens here are factory farmed. Yeah, I know that. They're just yeah. disgusting. What, yeah. And they grow without feathers. Yeah, well, and and they, they're pumped with hormones. So it takes like what, like three, four weeks until it's fully grown. Yeah. It's disgusting. So yeah, but exactly, but you eat it and you support it I and you eat, sell it. I don't you eat don't eat chicken. chicken. I don't eat that chicken. And they're all factory farm. Where are you getting chicken from? France, corn feds from Northern France. So you only eat corn fed chicken, that's it. Well, if I go to someone's house and cook chicken, I don't know where it's coming yeah, from. Yeah, okay. But what I'm trying to say it's is... Hard, you know the thing is, it's hard to stay consistent in that. With, in that when regard. it comes to rights, right? Yeah, I mean... It's hard uh, to stay consistent. Yeah, because uh, you can't... It, it, it's, it's you never know. Impossible. You never yeah. know what happened. Even that... that it is, I agree with you. It's never impossible. We can talk about... Because uh, as an investigator and as someone who's involved yeah, yeah. with animal rights been for a long time, they tell you one thing and they're doing another thing because you're a customer at the end of the day. They're not going to advertise uh, all the abuses and cruelty and suffering of the animals and the struggle yeah. in the slaughterhouse and the blood. Yeah. Well, you're not going to be a customer anymore, right? Yeah. Now you say you, you buy directly from a farm. I don't know if you go into the slaughterhouse and watch the animals struggling. I don't. Okay, we stick cameras in and watch them trying to escape the knockbox cows and things like this. Yeah. When I talk about rights, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how you treat a slave, mm -hmm. right? It does matter to the slave, yes, it does matter. Mm -hmm. But they're still a slave and they still get killed. Mm -hmm. So if I would have human beings where in one farm they're being whipped constantly and abused, right? In another farm where they're not being whipped constantly, but they're still a slave and they will still be decapitated for a sandwich, they yep. might, and it might be, let's just think of a, a quick death. Both of those situations are having their rights violated. One, there's some bit serious welfare issues. Another one is they're, they're, having, they're still having their rights violated, yeah, yeah. human rights. Yeah. So I'm saying that no matter how they're, they're treated, mm -hmm. they're still a product yeah. that will be decapitated yeah. and have their right to life taken. Yeah. 
and they are sentient and conscious as well. Like, yeah. like we are maybe not in the same. Hundred percent agree with you. Yeah. On that. So that's why I'm saying they deserve rights, which is beside the point of welfare, really. So rights in terms of what they isn't it? They have the right not to be killed. Yeah, like negative rights. So you say CA said not to be. Yeah. Yeah, like to be infringed upon. Yeah. To be in. in, in uh, Artificially inseminated and all that. You like, violated, I murdered. Know, you like using the word rape, I know that. Yeah, were they, were they, for the animal, like, I don't know if you've ever been to prison, but they, uh, there's non sexual acts of, well, not sex, without sexual intent acts of rape that happen all the time in prison. So they might rape someone for being a snitch with them, they might rape him with a toilet brush. Yeah. Right? They might say he's a snitch, that's, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So rape can still be, with, with, in the dairy industry, the yeah, cow yeah. is having a fist inside her anus, and that, for the cow, is what? Rape. It's wild. Yeah. It's wild. So, so, I, listen, there's a, a lot of farming methods that are disgusting. I agree with you 100%. And what about just the decapitation of animals? Yeah, I mean, look, as a, as a Muslim, I obviously, we need, they need to be slaughtered by cutthroat. Halal, the cut throat and No, they don't. They don't know in the UK. You know that, right? Pardon? Do you know much about halal slaughter, halal guidelines here in the UK? Go on, tell me. So not all animals are non-stun halal, which is consistent with the Hadiths. What do you mean? Well, basically, in a Hadith, you're not so allowed to stun them with a gun. Why? That's haram. Yeah. But yeah, there's all, all no, no, the... no. You can stun them, but if the stun doesn't kill them, then that's halal. If the stun, if the stun just stuns them but doesn't kill them, then that's. They, that's they didn't have stun guns back. That's then. permissible. No, no, no. Uh, you're it? not, you're not killing them. You're stunning them. If this, if the killing act is with the, the slaughter, then that that is completely permissible. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. I didn't and know also that. in Islam, you do know that anyone by the book. So let's say a Jewish person or a Christian person kills an animal. They're allowed to permit a Muslim to take it to, to to eat as a gift because it's, 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 it's an authentic hadith which our prophet, peace be upon him, said that if it's been sorted by people of the book, then it's permissible for us to eat, which has to obviously be permissible of the full eat. So what about causing animals uh, suffering in factory farms before you eat them? Yeah, that's wild. I don't like that. I listen. Look, is it permissible? No, permissible? no, that's not permissible. Uh, so that's haram? Because, because so, you're, you're, uh, you're causing pain and suffering to the creation of God. Yeah, it's unjust. It's and, disgusting. Yeah. I, so, I, animal cruelty is... So but, 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 when you're in the UK and you're buying all these chicken and that, you eat haram food all the time, they just put a halal stamp on it. But then the thing is, if if it's being sold as halal, but it's actually haram, that's not our fault as Muslims, because yeah. we're being sold as a... As yeah. a Muslim. Until you know. So now you know that most chickens here are factory farm, almost all of them, actually all of them, and they're caused suffering because they've been selectively bred to suffer. Mm. Suffering is unavoidable in factory farm yeah, yeah, chickens yeah. these days. Yeah, yeah. What they do? I've, factory, I've seen videos. Oh, so they disgusting. take they take those chickens and they take them to a halal slaughterhouse. So bismillah, bismillah in, in the slaughterhouse, and that's about it. They get a prayer and they get shot, decapitated. But they they've had a big uh, truck ride there, and they're all suffering and they're overgrown bodies. And they're, and then uh, they put a halal stamp on it. And a Muslim might go to a halal KFC, grab some chicken. Yeah, listen. I, I'll tell you what. I think I personally, in the halal industry is a lot more. Up than the non halal industry. I'll tell you why. They will be willing to put the most crap, sh quality nonsense, put a halal stamp on it and sell it for more price because it's halal. But they're serving even. Is better. it cost more halal? Sometimes it can. Sometimes, Sometimes it. it can. But that's, this is something that has been going on. Also, for example, like halal sausages or halal, uh, like if you buy frozen halal like nuggets and whatever. The amount of sh that's in that. See, we don't even know. We don't even eat it in my home because it's just disgusting. And when you're, when you're vegan, you know. I've, I've, I'm, you know. I'm, I'm actually, right now, I'm actually a fully carnivore. Oh, you yeah, really? Yeah. But I have a lot of respect for the vegans, and the reason I'll tell you why, because I respect people that stand up for what they believe in, and you guys have shaped the world. And that's, for me, is hats off, and I have a, a lot of respect, I admire vegans. Yeah. I, I know a lot of people uh, have this inclined to be, have beef with yeah, them. There's a lot of uh, ne negative stigma it's towards stupid. Being, I mean, There's a lot of chefs in my industry, right? I'm, I'm, I've worked in many restaurants and they, the vegans get a lot of stick, but it's like, we should be catering for people's dietaries for their form. It's not a diet. Believe it. So as in like, dietaries in terms It's a moral of, like, principle. Moral principle. It extends to diet. It's, ma it's the main culprit for animal right. abuse and killing. Right, so how- yeah, Muslims also have s standards to respect animals. Yeah. You no, know, which is why I have better conversations with Muslims and Christians because it doesn't really say anything in in Bible about it. I it's basically like the God's creatures are here for us. We have the Garden of Eden, which was vegan. We have the uh, God's perfect paradise when the lion lays down with the lamb, which is yeah. vegan. In between, God says, oh, all the creatures are for you. It doesn't say that you can't torture them. It doesn't say which animals you can and can't eat. Yeah. So they can, I can basically torture a dog for 12 hours and eat them under the Christian worldview and there's nothing stopping them in the Bible. That's horrendous. At least in Islam, there is, you have to respect God's creatures, you uh, you can't ha harm even a sparrow or you'll be judged on the day of judgment, you know, unjustly. Yeah. My thing is, my whole thing is back then, all right, 1400 years ago, the world was different, yeah. right? Now we have iPhones and I'm sure 
the prophet yeah. didn't have an iPhone and this and that. Like, yeah, yeah. Maybe that that it would even maybe some social media would even be her. Maybe there's a lot of because music is. I know that. Oh yeah, there is there's a levels bit. to. I know there's levels to. I know that there's like really bad things that you can't do ever, yeah. and there's stuff that you, you, can, you can be forgiven for. Yeah. But what I'm saying is like back then there might have been a situation where they had to do uh, they had to kill animals, all right. So what what they thought of was like how can we do this in the best way, all right. So we don't want them to see each other. We put, we'll pray to God and we'll get a really sharp knife so that it, it, it's a very quick process for the animal. Because yeah. now we have options, right? Mm -hmm. It is unjust now because we don't have to do it. And you, and you can never be sure because now animals have been used as a product. But it's industry, it's a business now. Unless you've looked after this animal your entire life, their entire life, and you've 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 kept an eye on them and you've you've genuinely personally done it, and they're a happy animal. And then you do everything that's in the, the hadith, which I still think is wrong, by the way, because you're slashing the throat of an animal that's happy when you don't have a reason to. You don't need it for your survival. You don't need it for your health. There's no reason to do this. You can have a supplement. But now technology has changed. So as a Muslim, you can never be sure. But with veganism, you can. And, and it's showing compassion. It's like, it's the most compassionate thing you can do. Like halal is like trying to be compassionate whilst, whilst still killing the animal, right? But even more so, showing more mercy is being vegan. That's the thing. I, I agree with you, 100%. I do agree it's with you. It's the most halal. Like, think about it. There's an animal here, the God made them, like animals get afraid. You slash their throat, they try to breathe, they, they, they're, they're struggling over seeing. Natural instinct comes yeah, I've seen it live. I've they don't want to die, man. They don't I've, submit. I've, I've been back home and I've watched goats being sacrificed and I've seen. It's this horrible, man. They're struggling. They're fear. It, it is tough to watch. It is tough to watch. Yeah. Yeah. And it, well, you don't even have to, it's not even, it's permissible to be vegan. You don't have to, it's not mandated to eat meat. You can't say that it's not allowed because that would be going against God's word. But when you look at animals choking on their blood and you think, oh yeah, I'm going to have a burger tonight, that's so worth it. But your heart and your conscience are saying something. And if you, you believe God created you, you're right? And your children, do you have children? No, no. No, but when you have children, let's just say, I don't know if you know any, like your family members have children. Yeah. When they see an animal be slaughtered, they are terrorized by it in their heart, in something, aren't they? I was that child. Exactly. It is, so, it is tough to watch. So God created you to be, you must, you, must become, you must become desensitized by it eventually though. So that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, but, you, but when you're at your purest, yeah. as God created you, yeah. When you see it, oh my God, this is wrong. Yeah. So listen to that. Why don't we listen to that? That God-given insight. Yeah, it's a fair point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. And, and being vegan is it's completely consistent with the religion. In fact, it's the, it's, you're doing the best to avoid these things. You know it's going on in the back of your mind. You can never be sure. You don't know how much that animal suffers. You don't know if someone beat their head in before they cut their throat in a slaughterhouse. Like we film all the time. That's rough. I do that. Yeah. There's nothing really, there's no real justification these days. Why can't animals have rights protecting them like humans? Then you, you couldn't be abusing them. You couldn't be doing these horrible things that are haram in your religion to them. Because they would actually be protected and respected. And that's the most merciful thing. Yeah, no. Absolutely. Absolutely. You don't have much to say. No, no, I'm do listening. Do you disagree I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you because I'm... I'm you know, I find you quite compelling. To me. Yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. Because, I mean, if you disagree, you probably would have said something. I yeah? don't disagree with anything you're saying. Yeah. But I'm personally not going to become vegan. Let's say you don't, and you continue to pay for animals to be decapitated and often tortured and factory farmed, and you never like really looking at what's behind that label. You know what I mean? Do you think now that you've 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 crept in from away from being merciful, away from being compassionate, and instead of focused on your own personal satisfaction or desire. It definitely is a personal selfish satisfaction. Yeah. Yeah. It is. But is that consistent with it doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't contradict. It doesn't contradict No, your... it doesn't it doesn't contradict I tell you why, because it's permissible for me to do that. Yeah. God has allowed me to do that. It doesn't contradict my virtue or my compassion. Your ethics. No. Even though if you feel bad if you see it happening, and you don't think I, about the animals either, like I how do, they feel. I do, I do, I do. do I really yeah. do, I really do, and okay. that's why I'm, I'm, I was saying that I, I'm very specific and very with where I order my meat from. Yeah. I use really specific. I'm a chef myself, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah, no, so I'm I know. So I'm, I'm in touch with quite a few very good farmers, very good farmers. Yeah. yeah. So I've investigated very good farmers, very good farmers, mate. And uh, they got a very good slaughterhouse too, where the animals struggle for their lives. You know what I mean? Like this is, this is just hoodwinking, mate. They're, and and the happier the animal, the greater the injustice it is to murder. Like it's almost like in these factory farms, you're, you're killing them out of their misery, which is also bad. They shouldn't be in misery, 
But when the animal's happy and wants to live more, think about when we kill a human being that's got everything going for them at the best time in their life. It's, all, it's a graver injustice. You can never be sure, mate. And uh, I'll tell you right now, you tell me where their slaughterhouse is if you want. I guarantee you, when, you when, when no one's watching, that's when you stick the camera in. I can show you some of the stuff we found at a grandma's local local family run slaughterhouse. They only slaughter local animals too, like uh, so local smallholders as well. So you well, they, drive you well, drive your own animals in. Right. And uh, well, they were punching and kicking the animals. Well, well, basically what what happens is the animals go in the knock box and they can smell the other cow's blood, and they start trying to struggle, and then they, one cow ripped their own horns off trying to escape, and one of them must have done something to one of the slaughter workers, and he grabbed the cow by the nose and goes. And bolted him in the head, and then the cows like kind of still like milling, and and then dragged her up by her ankle, cut her head up, and threw it across the ground. And I was just thinking like these animals. Are... One one cow tried to nuzzle the the bolt gun off of the. They actually did nuzzle the bolt gun off of the. So he left the bolt gun in front of the cow. They nuzzled the bolt gun off of the the ledge because they must have thought well they might be doing something with me in this container to to my whatever I don't know. But they were scared, man. Yeah, they know, they know. They are conscious, sentient beings, as you said. Yeah, and why do you eat them? I enjoy it. Yeah. And my diet has been, it's very meat heavy. It's very, it's a carnival based diet. Yeah. And I've been doing it now for a while, quite a while. Do so you think you're doing it for your health? Well, it's having a very positive impact on me so far. It's working for me. Like you've removed processed food and just focused on, your, yeah, because yeah, that happens much. with any any dietary change yeah. where you're mindful about what you're eating. Whole foods, plant-based can do that too. Yeah, yeah. Eating raw vegan can do that definitely, too. Definitely. You know, so Actually, raw, raw vegan's a very good one. Yeah. Very good. I think it's a bit dangerous yeah. myself because it dilute, calorie dilute. People can get what? Man, Cali- malnourished too, from Too much raw deficit. Beef. Yeah, high cut. Ca- yeah, yeah. But you know, some people do it right, but I, I just eat a wide variety of whole plant yeah, foods. I eat junk food when I want to, so I'm not restricting, but it's vegan burger, it's vegan this and that. Yeah. If you like something, you get pleasure from it, so it is desi- self yeah, desire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you will always say, "Well, there's a loophole in my religion, so I don't have to." Well, really... Something. Let's, I mean, let's just leave Islam out of this. Let's pretend I'm not even. Yeah. I'm still. I still. I really. Enjoy but that it. is where you dr- derive your ethics from, because you're not going to listen to me. You're going to listen yeah. to God. Yeah, I do listen to God. But also, God doesn't say that I can't be vegan. Yeah. So wh- yeah. where do you go from there? No, no, no. Well, you got to follow your heart, don't you? And yeah. your heart is being clouded by your desire. Because there's no other, re- yeah. Isn't that, isn't that with anything though? Oh, it's part of it. Yeah, but but also you, what, it depends what your desires you have. You can have good desires. You can have desire to 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 want to create peace, be consist be consistent with your compassion, show mercy to the the most vulnerable. Mm. Who but also, be because I'm because I eat meat and because I'm not a vegan doesn't mean I'm not a compassionate person. Doesn't mean I'm not a loving person. Doesn't mean I don't have outside of animals. Yeah, but towards animals, you're cold. You have to be. You might say, I don't want them to be treated cruelly, you know, but you're also saying they can be decapitated so I can eat But I've, I've also... You have to be honest with yourself. I've, I've also said to myself, like, I haven't done it yet, but I said I need to go and slaughter my own animal to do it. I should go and do it. I don't think you should. No. I, I don't want you to kill anyone. But I think I should go and, and, and slaughter an animal to go and see if, I, if this is what I'm really about. Yeah, but I mean, uh, obviously you can go to the slaughterhouse where your animals are being slaughtered and say, hey man, can I... Yeah. Can I have a, well, can I, don't, I don't know if they might, they might let me. Could you go back home and do it, really? But it's definitely, it's definitely a tough. I mean, what if I say, you know, like, I really want to see what it's like slaughtering a dog, man? I've got to do it myself, eh? But would you care? People eat dogs in the world. Do you think it's wrong? No. You don't think it's wrong to no. eat dogs? No, I don't. No. Does a dog think it's wrong? I think a dog knows it's wrong. Yeah, no, it's not think, not go. It's wrong to kill me. No, but they, if they you know, try to kill a dog, they don't want to be killed. Instinct. It's not natural, just natural instinct. They do have like, animals do think. Yeah. Of the future, yeah. and if you abuse a dog, they remember it. Yeah, of course. It's not it's always just instinct. It's not. They're not machines. No. no. But that was a lovely chat. I really I re- I appreciate it. I got to go back to work. Thanks, anyway, mate. I really. You're gonna go. I, I um. No. Admire what you guys are doing. It's really good, and um, keep keep signing up for what you believe in. I will. And uh, maybe it, one day, you'll remember this conversation, and you'll think I'm eating the corpse of someone who didn't want to die. This is not consistent with the good person I claim to be. He's <laughs> got a way with words, isn't he? Can I take one of your clothes? Of course you can, mate. It's got your details on it. Uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of... Uh, it's got where, like... Where can I see this? Uh, Joey Carbstrong. Uh, my, it's on my YouTube channel. Joey Carb... Yeah, Carbstrong. You wouldn't like that as a carnival. Carbs are scary, you know. I, I, I don't really eat much carbs. Yeah, Do you eat honey? No. Nah. What about, what about figs? Do you eat figs? 
Yeah, but they're an incidental death every now and then a wasp might. It's not like a deliberate murder kind of situation, you know, they're incidental. It's like I don't think well, accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been on Pierce twice. Nice. I've been off, uh, around. I'm quite well known. That's why I've got away with words. I've been doing this for a while. I'm actually going to buy meat <laughs> God forgive him. Actually, don't forgive him. <laughs> this is unjustified. <laughs> See you, brother. What about cows? Huh? And cows? Oh. That means we can't eat them, though. <laughs> if they have human rights, we can't eat them. Yeah, we should have eaten them. Are you a... a vegan. You're a vegan? Yeah. <laughs> You're consistent, that's good. <laughs>